Hello and welcome to the winner's bracket in the Line War tournament. Oh boy, do I have a good game for you, hopefully. At least I got some very, very good players. We have nickname in blue. Someone said that my nickname sucks. Just, uh, I'll just call him nip, nip name, nickname. <clears throat> and then Tomok in red. I'm just gonna pause here uh, just to quickly recap <clears throat> before we we watch the picking phase so nickname beat animorph 2 to uh, null uh, quite uh, so quite confidently despite losing two of his game in the in the group stage uh, I can recall who we lost to it was uh, who did he lose to he lost to welcome to yeah and to easy one game to each and Tomok also lost two of his games in, in the group stage, one against Archer and one against Barracuda. So they they both had a bit of a rough group game, actually. But then a nickname showed uh, everyone how it's done against Animorph. And Tomok uh, did not play his game, I think, uh, against Super Ginger in the, in the winner's bracket, or at least I've just haven't seen the games at least um, so so nickname comes directly from a bit uh, a bit of a, a rough game <clears throat> that he did play uh, very well though so this is uh, if you want to to learn to play a line more at the top level you need to watch these two guys Nickname been around forever, while Tomok just sh uh, suddenly, suddenly showed up in the last tournament and surprised everyone. <clears throat> uh, and he came in... Uh, did he came? I think he came second or third. Third, I think, yeah. Maybe. It doesn't matter. He was... He, 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 he came a long way. So... Uh, so one of the more experienced ones against a newer uh, player but very very strong player <clears throat> so we have nickname in blue and tomoka in red and they are both fighting over this area to start with and then they're kind of uh, like uh, prioritizing different uh, areas of the map and I just had to look it up and Tomok did win uh, win he did came come second in the first uh, in, in the previous tournament and nickname came third and it was actually Tomok who who won against nickname that made him uh, come uh, come in second so last time once again nickname is playing a, a player that he lost against in the earlier tournament but now has the opportunity to get his revenge and from the starting point here i i would say that tomok has the best starting position If he can cut off nickname here, nickname starts all the way up here. Tomok starts does start a bit away, but I think he really wants this eco, a bit more safe eco. And nickname does this long uh, line that we've seen a few times from him. And the question is, and I want you to bet now, will Nickname throw down a shipyard in this game, in this tiny sea. You just never know. So, at least one eco from Tomok. Two barracks. Nickname puts down his base in the mountains. And he puts down some eco as well. 
and he's already getting troops into uh, Tumuk's territory. Well, not territory, but he's part of the map, so to speak. What you would kind of count as uh, Tumuk's because that's uh, that should be fairly reasonable for him to cap that. So in my opinion, Tomok has the best starting position. He does build a second town, some air and a factory. And he's really just going all in on expansion. He wants that eco so he can keep up with nickname, I think. Nickname is certainly also expanding a lot. One, two, three. Three squads for back cabbing. And then he's moving towards the middle. He does regret this action and goes more for a, a back cabbing, maybe. Back cabbing, so to speak, but to kind of gain control over this part of the map. And then it suddenly looks okay for, for nickname. Then he has a quite a bit of of the map as well if he gets all of this down here then it's more of a 50 50 but i guess i think there's more eco buildings to the left maybe not one two three four five six and these are two are kind of in the middle so it's this and then you would have one two three four but this is a cd Nickname is going for scouting run probably with this tanks with this tank and it's helis from his airport so is it from from uh, Tomok and nickname probably wants to know if there's a gas up here then he knows what to expect and he's maybe already I don't know if this is for the second gas or if it's for scouting. The nickname puts down his own gas in good time. So they don't see each other just yet. Tomok will spot this tank before the tank spots anything. <clears throat> it's going for the town. So I think Tomok does see it now. <clears throat> I think this is a mix of like it's mostly for scouting, but it, well, if I can get a town, please let me have a town, I think. And now that he realizes there's gas, he's actually re retreating with the tank. And I think he hoped that he could hide in the mountain. But he's, uh, he's surrounded by units, he just can't see it. And no gas here. And this is definitely also going for like down here to probably cap and make a proxy base and at the same time he should know if there's a if there's a gas let's see if Tomok spots it he doesn't <clears throat> but he does hear it or is it it might be have been this one And he got a tank of his own. Tomok is using a lot of inventory on capping, which should give him a eco advantage, but it will be tough when when the forces collide. So let's just look at the, the eco while we keep tr track of this tank and if it can do any damage. So 550 for nickname and 620 for Tomok. 
<coughs> so Chomok is ahead, eco wise. And he gets the tank. And he has no idea about this tank. So unfortunately, I already got spoiled, so I know which player will proceed of these two. I um, I watched the last half of the last game they played on stream. Um, so yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, but I haven't watched the games. So I don't know if they're playing two or three games, but uh, obviously I will know after this first one, since I know the result of the of the player who proceeds. But it's still a bunch of fun to watch how the some of the two play best players, absolutely best players, play against each other. And it's definitely a learning experience. So Nickname tries to cut off Tomok so he gets as much of the map as possible. So if he could kind of get control over all of this, then it's it's looking okay for Nickname. I would still think that Tomok has the most eco, but maybe just all of these towns will outweigh it, the six towns, and Nickname could potentially build one here as well. And if he gets control over this with the gas and another town with a port, then he's uh, definitely looking good. Tomok has a bunch of gas, puts down another airport, and he's doing bombers. It's been a while since we've seen bombers. And he's actually sending them now into two SAMs, and he does see them. So he, he knows there's some anti-air. But see, he's quite a bit behind on troops. And he does cancel when he spot those uh, Sams. And now Nickname is moving his helis up north. And he's uh, defending his Sams with, with the infantry here. Very smart move. And he's starting to cap. Expect a proxy base unless all these units cap it anyways. And this is not good for Tomok. He only has one same. Two on the way though, three, four actually. So Tomoka is taking taking some uh, some heavy losses up north because he just was not prepared with any anti air. And then these chains are just very vulnerable. Nickname put down a small D 
defense at his gas. He also put down a barracks here for capping and for <coughs> uh, future uh, attacking force, I guess, down south. And another gas. To mark with the town. So let's let's check the eco when when this is done. This is a lot of infantry from nickname. Tumuk seems a bit behind on or maybe it's just that most of his troops are actually going north and up north they're having a very hard time. So it will be five hillies here against three Sams. Once again, I'm sure Nickname is, is happy with just having three Sams coming in. Not exactly one at a time, but they could kind of attack one Sam without having the, <coughs> the short range attack from the Sams, from all three Sams at least. Which is the one that that hurts a lot. Let's see if these two Sams together can do some work. Down south it's the other way around. Nickname only has two Sams. But he's just going for it. He has so much infantry. Another heli go down. Another And another, so that really hurt. Wonder if he can get the last one as well. Maybe this tank will snipe it. No. But two factories might go down here. That would be a big loss for Tomok. That's 600 capital. But I think he will. He will defend this. If the helis are back in the air fast enough. He might lose one. And nickname is just he has so many units, so now he's moving uh, directly into the like the main part of Tumok space. So let's take a look at the ego. Almost twelve hundred for nickname and almost twelve hundred for Tumok. So Tumok is actually only like ten or twenty ahead. I'm a bit surprised by that. He has three towns. Nickname has three towns. And two more on the way. And here, here it comes. The shipyard that we're all <laughs> waiting for. I don't know if this has just become a signature move for a nickname now. If he really thinks it's it's worth it, or if he's kind of playing around a bit, I can't tell. This is very good for Tomok. He gets rid of the Sam's that was here, and this can this can be huge for Tomok. But he just doesn't have the troop to really fend off these infantry, and the the air is not killing them fast enough. So this this factory might go down. And now Tomok has a few interceptors, but you can see here that uh, nickname is actually going for these Sams rather than the building. And Tomok is, is moving the Sams away, of course. Ready. 
and I'm pretty sure that Tomuk is happy as long as there's just one Sam at a time joining in from nickname side. But nickname is going heavy eco now, and that can uh, that can make the difference in a few minutes. <coughs> The nickname is is uh, preparing for a tank run here towards the gas, and of course he had has the proxy base on the way. A nickname is preparing to attack this, so he knows that Tomok apparently needs this gas and he, since he settles with this advancement and then starts to entrench so nickname will put the the infantry at the front and then the artillery to attack in the back never mind that's a move command now and then he's moving around with the tanks but i'm not sure if the tanks can make it here because jumok has the tanks some tanks of his own and he also uh, just wants to go head on now. The Tumuk is not doing any micro to to handle these tanks right now. He's just relying on the attack commands in general to to take care of this. So the tanks might continue up to check for a, a town or for gas in the back. And here's the issue that Chomoka may be overproduced Sam's now, so he's lacking everything else. But there's also quite a few front lines now, and Chomoka is actually beginning to hit back down south and take uh, territory from nickname, so that's very good for Chomoka and, and his economy. These tanks are probably going for the gas, but I don't think they'll make it through all of this terrain. They will move very slowly, but Tumuk might lose this anyways. Now Tumuk could build up a bunch of uh, air and uh, maybe reduce the amount of interceptors sorry I just had a phone call <coughs> This might go down, actually. Tomok did manage to get all of these tanks. But he loses this gas. Which he can't afford. Because he has so much air. And I'm lying because there's still one tank alive. Now the question is if nickname will go for the town here or the gas. It seems like he's going for the for the town. But he has a safe gas he can build down here. Well, he would think that it's safe. But he doesn't know about this. That's a big base. And here comes the commandos gathering close to the airfield. A nickname is going at it while Tomek is kind of out of gas. He's hitting a town, he got the gas, he's hitting the air. Because normally I would say that he would probably wait to have at least two or three commandos here. I can't see where the command for this air is. This is a very good push from 
from Chumok, but he forgot his Sams. There you go. They are now moving in. And this air might might go down. He does lose the town. And I think nickname is ahead eco wise now. 1450 and 1350. So he is. That hurts a lot. Really well played by nickname. And Tomok immediately puts down another airbase. And he sends the infantry from two barracks. Never mind, he adds a bit more. But I think he will be quite surprised to see how much stuff is actually down here. Unfortunately, these tanks are moving very slow. He could have done a move command with the tanks to go down and hit the barracks, hit the gas and the tanks. He could really have caused some damage. And there's still a tank alive. But I think this this ends up being a question for for Tomac where he just have so so many things to consider all across the map and it's very difficult to keep up and sometimes it just feels like nickname is present at all front lines at all times but of course like doing these lines will take more focus away from your opponent than it takes for you to make them so it's a it's something that you just have to do once in a while but it will take a lot of work for Tumok to figure out where this is and how to deal with it finally got the tank up here Rebuilding the town. This is really looking good. But Tomo, this not so much because you can't even support with air. A nickname is just throwing stuff all over the place now commandos and tanks everywhere and it forces Tumok to actually send in the helis but they will they will have a tough time here because it's very difficult to get them in and hit at once And as soon as this gas goes down, it will be tough uh, for Tomok to keep the air in the air, <laughs> the planes in the air. But now Nickname is hitting this town as well. Tomok could really benefit, I think, from doing some of the things that Nickname is doing and try to focus on on some important infrastructure like the gas and the town in a minute it it would be too late i guess it might always already be this gas will soon go down and this is looking grim And now Tomok is forced to have small armies everywhere. Which also caused upkeep.
and I didn't even spot this. That's a very expensive rocket. One rocket for two missile ships. He could send his uh, Sams down here. Let's see what uh, nickname he's of course going for the gas. Trying to stun Tomok's, uh, Tomok's air. And I'm not sure how it works. If this goes down, will these just instantly die? Like an airport? Yeah. They no. Yeah, they stopped. They stopped attacking. So yeah, they will. They will search for any other opportunity to land, and then in a minute they will. They will go down. So that's a good hit from from Tumok, saving his uh, his gas right there. This one actually manages to find his way back. Wow. Okay. <coughs> And nickname is just added again. And I think nickname has a bunch of eco now, fifteen hundred. It looks like it at least when he puts down so much, uh, so many producers. He got the gas down here, but he's under a lot of pressure. This attack will soon be over. A nickname can start to re recap some of this territory, which will just give him even more of an advantage. This is a good push, but there is a lot of air close by. And he's not giving up on that gas, he's just going for it again. And this time, Tomuk is not ready. He really should have pulled those Sams down here, expecting the same thing to happen again. But yeah, I, I know that's very easy to say now, as an observer. So many things going on. And he's put, he puts down a gas here instead. Now Tomuk is down to one gas. You can't really you can't have much air with one gas. And now nickname can really start to do these commandos because Tomuk doesn't have the the gas to defend it with air. And he can't even fire his rocket once once that's ready. And nickname is going for this gas with the Sams. This is very good for Tomok to have the Sams this close to an airport. Because now the planes can't really land. Unfortunately he loses another gas. And he can't push through here. Down go this factory maybe. Yeah, I think it will. And Tomuk is so desperate now that he starts to build barracks in the back. And it just really... F nickname forces Tomuk to do all sorts of other stuff sending his troops into the back of his own territory instead of having them uh, focused on one point he has to scatter them all across the map he has to constantly use his air at at places where he 
didn't want to. So it's hard for Tomok to do anything like this. Like actually have the uh, the forces and the time to do any sort of counter pressure. There's so many planes here that they take out the SAMs. Tomok almost got this air field port. And now nickname starts to recap this and that will put him quite firmly in the lead I think eco wise 1500 and 1400 but nickname has maxed out with his eco Tomac still has potential, but it, it requires him to get a more control of the map. It would be very unsafe to build this one. It would be very unsafe to build this one. And all of these will, will just go down to the air, I think. The rocket is ready. Of course, there's two commandos also killing the industries. Let's see where this rocket goes. If it goes. Could be for this. Could also be for this. And is it for the production or the army? It seems like it's the army. So a small breathing room for Tomuk while he's uh, losing a town in the middle of his own base. Maybe, almost. And all of his air will go down here. He does cancel it. And this army is more or less already rebuilt except for the SAMs. And Tomo can't... he can't destroy this proxy base. And this is a sign of uh, exhaustion or lack of uh, lack of uh, yeah, because he's just sending one infantry in at a time, one unit at a time. So nickname takes that game. Very well played by both. So stressful to play against nickname. A nickname is really uh, is really playing top top tier right now, despite his uh, few hiccups at the group stage. He really turned himself around and he's playing his top game at the moment. And even the best players, Tomok and Animorph, so far the three games I watched. It's like they're they're not even close at the <laughs> currently. So yeah, very exciting game. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. And um, I'm looking forward to the next one. If you're part of the tournament, 
good luck and otherwise i hope you have some fun in line war have a nice day bye